Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. Uh, just fair warning, a uh, little bit of an upset stomach today, so if I suddenly cut to the title card and raid Beast Lord, you'll know exactly what's going on. It's time for another chapter on the porcelain reading chair. All right. That little bit of TMI out of the way. I started putting in the floor. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned Tuesday... I'm where I've done a unique floor for all the side rooms. I think for these two main rooms, I, I, de I want to go ahead and make this main floor the same on both sides. So the, this will be one of the two areas where you kind of get the same feel. And I think in keeping with that, I'm going to do the same basic design for the platform so the same way that I've got this style of stair um, and this style of floor for the second floor I'll do the same over here but the porch on this side is going to be smaller than the porch on this side I, I don't need a three you know three segments long uh, it's probably going to be either two or maybe even one segment long. Cause I, I want to keep that, that side shorter on the top. So I've got uh, a, a bigger feeling room. Uh, I do, however, instead of doing the, the rounded off stairs like this, eh, or maybe, or maybe I do either way. Uh, I want to make sure that, um, Hello, Beach Duck. I want to make sure that the porch from up here has stairs to go down here, not this hole in the wall. Which means that by the time I get to the stairs, I'm probably going to have to relocate a couple of these uh, redstone machines. But that's okay. Th this was just a temporary setup to make sure stuff worked. And to get a couple of quick resources. I got some crimson stems and planks. Uh, <laughs> get, given that that was the culmination of three stacks of, of stems, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know that I have enough, but, uh, we will, we'll probably look into that in a little bit, uh, cause I don't, I don't want to do another resource gathering bit. What I do want to do is since I've got my uh, consultant online, <laughs> uh, do a little work uh, on the castle dining room floor. So let me take a nap on the couch. <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm going to respawn in some random part of this base. Uh, I'll I, I probably don't need this much purple terracotta for the build. So I'll take two stacks, three stacks back with me and leave those here for the rest. Um, I don't think I need any of these for over there. Let's, uh, hi Pinky. How you doing? I could definitely use your help too. So, uh, we're, we're, we're about to do colors and design and, and that kind of thing. And that is, uh. Well, that's not my strong suit. I I, I definitely build machines and things that uh <laughs> I do stuff like this, so you get tons of XP and bone meal and arrows and things. Uh this part, however. So I've got a I've got a room that is ten blocks wide by twenty blocks long. Uh, I have settled on, I definitely want to do this dark oak trapdoor wainscoting with maybe the dark oak planks going up from there. Maybe not. That, that part's a little flexible. And I want to make the floor out of terracotta. Uh, I want to give it some sort of Midwest feel. Uh... So my initial thought was sticking with most of the colors that you find naturally occurring in the Mesa in Minecraft, which would be this orange, red, uh, some yellow, and the plain terracotta. Um, 
I started trying to build a design in the center and working my way out from there. That did not go well. Um, and do keep in mind that I've got some other colors floating around too. Like I've got a, a little bit of the cyan. Um, I've got some brown. But I deeply suspect that the brown is going to be a little too close to the uh, dark oak to really be useful. Uh, we got light blue, we got light gray. So that's <laughs> that's supposed to be light blue. Uh, like, I mean, I, I know my colors are off, but and, and that's light gray. And uh, where? I don't know. Let me let me just go ahead and uh, leave one of those there. I got a couple of spare. Uh, I've also got my emergency die kit, so we can recolor these, any of the 18 colors that exist in Minecraft. Um, so that's not a problem either. I almost wonder if I need to... Oh, yeah, and I got the purple terracotta from uh, <laughs> that, that I made for over there. But I, I, don't, I don't think the purple is going to fit. Uh... And these are all the ones that naturally occur. What, the the light blue here? Yeah, there's only 18 colors. You, you have white, light gray, gray, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, blue, purple, magenta and pink that's it uh, i have some glow ink sacks because as of 1.18 you can use those to make signs uh backlit which makes the text surprisingly easier to read um and i i over overproduced the lime in the green matter of fact if you want to work some green in here i i got i get green dye to spare <laughs> Uh, and I just put those there because I needed a place to put them. I, I'm also, I want to make a stained glass window here, maybe here, and I haven't decided about here, but there's definitely going to be the main dining table over here. Um, I was thinking about using a chair design that I saw um, it was either B00 or Corrales use I don't remember which now which is a shame but uh, you do something like a, like a so like a so like a so no. and I almost forgot you need one more so you do something like that to get a, a chair looking deal and then you don't have to hide the other half of a bed. <laughs> it also means I'm probably going to have to go farm some more dark oak for all those trapdoors. Um, I've also seen another design where you use an open fence gate between the two chairs so it looks like the arm of a chair. But that, that uh, I don't know. I kind of like this one a little bit better. And you don't have to use a white quartz slab or white banners. You can use any color. So that that is also up for up for grabs. But again, uh, up for grabs is in any of the 18 colors that exist in Minecraft. Mm, coffee. <laughs> Let's get those put away for the moment. So, I mean, was I wrong to start with this design here? Uh, just for centering purposes, I might scale this back down to just the, the, four, the four center blocks that exist right there. And try again, because I, I thought about uh, working my way from the walls inward then. And maybe getting a, a kind of zigzaggy thing 
down the sides and then work some other design in the middle. Um, or zigzaggy design around the perimeter. But either way, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up this failed attempt, and uh, we'll try something else. Uno momento, por favor. How are you guys doing? Or is this where where we run into the perils of lag? Because I, I know you guys are. Uh, on a little bit of a delay, and that always makes sense. I, I mean, <clears throat> I deeply appreciate that for the benefit of people who don't know any better. Twitch uh, adds some some uh, delay for you because there there are people who don't know about stream snipers, and and rather than rather than see people frustrated by that sort of behavior. Uh, they very helpfully um, add some random delay into your stream. But for stuff like this, it would be really nice to have an option that was a little closer to real time. I mean, that's I, I have it set to as close as Twitch will allow you for that. But that, that's, that's not quite enough. Although... I do wonder if some of the the additional delay is coming from the stream protection that I have enabled too, because there there is there is um... <laughs> that's right. You are coming by this weekend, aren't you? Uh, good, because I've got something for you. Because, I, I, yeah, I've, I've got the stream protection turned on, which is supposed to help in case of uh, internet connection brownouts and that sort of thing. Where, for whatever reason, you, you get a weird dip in connection and it can kind of reconnect you. It, it's got enough uh, lead time to reconnect you. I, I did that mostly because the previous apartment had uh, notoriously horrible problems with random disconnects. And that that isn't so much an issue with this one. So so I might I I am tempted to turn that off just for just for here, in, in the hopes that um, I can get. Uh, hang on, I gotta I gotta. It's a uh, it's sleepy time. Oh, and in the game, too. <laughs> oh, almost. Come on. Nighty night. There's no old man version of Minecraft where you can go to sleep early. Um, so we got those colors, we got yellow, we got orange, we got red, we got the plain terracotta, which has kind of a, a brownish hue to it. Um, is there any other colors you guys want me to pull out of the box to see? Like, uh, well, let me go ahead and get, get a little bit of green in there. Um, we use the plain terracotta. So there is a green, and of course, by what I put it next to, is also going to kind of change the way it change the way it looks a little bit. Um, I don't know that I've seen the lime terracotta. Now that I think about it, um, oh, the lime terracotta is not that bad. That that. That's actually not that bad. Um, I, I refuse to, to to do the magenta or pink in this. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
which that's the that's the light blue right yeah that's the light blue that's the purple um let me go ahead and make uh make some blue terracotta real quick Uh, that is supposed to be the blue. Uh, which one? The green or the lime green? I mean, I guess for completeness, I probably ought to go... Which, which gray was that? That's the... No. That's the light gray. And a regular gray and white. Uh, I've already got brown, red, orange, yellow. Oh, really? Neither of those? Is it is it the color or is it the texture? Uh, I I don't like that that that's black. It's got kind of a a almost brownish feel to it. But, uh, yeah, so that, that is supposed to be black. Um, this is supposed to be light gray. That's supposed to be gray. And that's supposed to be white. So I'm going to gather that we're definitely nixing the greens. And I don't think the green fit with the Southwest kind of theme anyway. So I, I'm not I'm not sad to see that go. Um, I just I don't. I, I like the cyan terracotta. I just, I don't know that that fits what we're going for in here. And if that's going to go well with the, the dark oak uh, planks and trapdoors. And I got to remember how to, I, I think you, I think it's a piece of ice that you need to remove the color. Just try that real quick. Yes. Okay. So you need ice to wash the <laughs> wash the terracotta <laughs> as it were. So, I mean, the, these are the options that we kind of got going on. Matter of fact, let me move uh, the blue over next to the light blue. I don't think the purple is going to work here. So we got black, gray, light gray, white. We've got plain brown, cyan, red, orange, light blue, blue, and yellow. And with the exception of the cyan and the two blues, these all are the naturally occurring colors when you go into a mesa. Are you talking about the, the white? The white looks cream. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, you know, this look kind of looks like the color coffee that I, I usually drink. And, you know, and then you got maybe like uh, some Arcadius coffee and some Rayest coffee. And <laughs> Uh, 
Although I've got creamer in my coffee today because Reyes bought some salted caramel creamer and decided that the salted caramel was too too overpowering in the creamer. And, and since I do love I do love some salted caramel, uh, that that has become my my dessert coffee on stream days and that kind of thing. I mean, I can all, I, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> you, you like the description or, or trying to do a pattern out of these guys? Uh, I need more words. Although I know you, you probably got a, a, the shark in one hand and trying to type with the other, so. I still wouldn't mind figuring out a way to fit a cyan in there somewhere. Or do I get some black concrete and try to do a giant coffee pot in the floor? That could be an option. Uh, hang on. Let me, let me go get a couple more resources from uh, back at the days. Although, uh, that means I'm going to have to find, <laughs> find some place to turn all that powder into concrete. Because I have not yet built the uh, the concrete machine that I would like to do this season. Uh, that's probably going to be on the other side of the mountain where nobody goes. Because uh, it's going to be big, ugly, and yet strangely beautiful. <laughs> Alright. I forgot to bring my black dyes, so let me go ahead and turn those into some black dye and I need sand I'm not sure how much gravel I'm not sure how much uh, the crafting table that I <laughs> moved over here for some black concrete powder and I'll keep that sand and whatnot on with me. Let's uh, let's excavate that temporarily. Bam. All right, I'll go put that down with the other stuff. Uh, Fly, fly. Is it is it safe to eat a pork chop while you're flying? That that doesn't seem uh, that doesn't seem wise. It sounds tasty though. Hey, we we got we got beef, we got bread, and we've got or sorry, we we got. We got bread, cream, and uh, and pork chops. Does does this mean that we should be able to craft some maple bacon donuts? We should definitely have a crafting recipe for maple bacon donuts. <laughs> that is some black concrete, and you can you, you can build a floor with just the black concrete powder. So that's black terracotta, that's black concrete, black concrete powder. Uh, I mean, technically, I, I guess if you want the, the better colors, I could do more concrete. Uh, I'm just not looking forward to making all that. Although, I guess if I did it all in powder, I could then dump a bucket of water and convert it into concrete too. Um... And, you know, mix and match and that kind of thing. I, I just, the initial thought was to stick with the terracotta colors 
and to stick with the naturally generating ones. Um, so that would that would move uh, so we get the blues over there uh, no, and some colors I don't have more of so you get those three or the, those five and uh, it's either the the gray no the light gray the light gray is one of the natural ones So you got those six as the naturally occurring colors. You've got your black black to white spectrum, uh, which we could also do concrete. I kind of like the cyan for something. I, I just I don't know what's going to be the right place to use that. Uh, I mean you got the blues, but. I don't I don't know how well they're gonna work. Although I I guess I guess that light blue might work well enough with the cyan. I just that blue is a little too purple for me. I think I'm going to go ahead and nix the blue anyway. I guess I'll hang on to that so I can recolor those at a later point. Maybe we'll take the black, gray, light, gray, white. Uh, maybe throw in some of the plain. Although, I mean, I, I guess if we're building a color gradient, that might go... gonna start whittling things down until uh the brown is probably gonna be out because it's a little it's a little too close maybe uh, especially with the with I don't know does that help it does that give it a um, a complementary effect being awfully quiet. Dude, should I uh Well, let's start let's just keep going with the process of elimination. Should should I should I not use the yellow and red? Like is that uh is that a definite out? I mean, I've already Oh, 
Okay. Trying to figure out a color palette for for the uh, the terracotta floor, and then to to work on a work on a design. I've already kind of nixed a couple of colors. It was agreed that the green was not quite right. Uh, I don't think the purple is going to fit in this as well. And I'm really not a, I'm not a fan of the blue. Like, there's the blue. There's the purple. What, the orange here? Yeah, I, I do, I do like the orange. I like the cyan uh the light blues kind of growing on me a little bit that that's the plain terracotta uncolored um what like maybe maybe get some uh orange and yellow in there should i keep the red in the contention for the color palette or no should I reconsider the purple and blue? Uh oh. Do I hear a rainstorm? Yeah, I well, I mean, part part of my issue is that what they're calling blue terracotta is a little too purple to begin with. Yeah. Alright, let, let's let's just mix those. Done. So unless we unless we eliminate something that gives us this color palette to work with. Uh, do we want this broader spread of colors? Because I kind of feel like we ought we ought to, <laughs> no pun intended, tone it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Okay. So if we're gonna whittle things down, uh, what goes next? Are, are we gonna keep the the black, the gray, the light gray? And I'm still kind of surprised at seven. I have trouble working with three to three. <laughs> All right, well, let's get rid of the black. Are we going to get rid of the uh, the light gray, or the gray, or the light gray, or are we going to keep those? And, and likewise, do we want the brown in there, or is that going to be too close to the dark oak wainscoting to to really work? Because I like the brown, I'm just worried that it's too close. And, and just doesn't, uh, won't quite match. Or we'll just be kind of a little bit too wrong, if that makes sense. A side by side of th this is the brown right here in front of the dark oak. So those trap doors are definitely going to be the wainscoting. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do above that. Hang on. Rain, rain, go away. <laughs> so doing the brown, the plain, the red, the yellow the orange and the gray. So 
So, since there doesn't seem to be a lot of love for the late gray, should I pull that? And at least that, uh, we, you know, as one that we know isn't going to be a, a go. Pull the brown. And that's what we got. We got the plain terracotta, the red, the yellow, the orange, the gray, light gray, cyan, light blue, and white. I almost wonder if the if the gray isn't going to be right with the dark oak either. I mean, I guess we could get rid of the plane too and just go with, uh, with these eight. Because yeah, I do want to make sure that this is a pattern that goes in a a 10 by 20 square. So what, get rid of the plain or get rid of the, the dark gray? Or the gray. Remember, you guys are on a delay, so that would work. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which that you're referring to. <laughs> uh, what? Switch the plane for the brown? Or, or put the... So, there's the brown, and that is the dark gray, that is the light gray, and that is the uh, white. Or should I pull pull that dark? All right, so we'll just work with these eight here, and keep both the dark gray and the light gray. Now the fun question: What kind of a pattern do we make out of this? I want it to be a little bit more more abstract designs and lines and things. Uh, uh, shapes and lines and things. The whole thing's a design. Uh, <laughs> in other words, I'm not trying to build like a field of flowers a as a diorama floor type deal. Um, and I still got to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting too, because I need I do need to make sure that I light the floor. Uh, the the shroom light could almost sub in where the orange is. Um, I'm a little short on glowstone, but that could that could also fit where. Uh, there is no purple, but that light blue is awfully purplish. <laughs> Are you talking about the light blue over here in the corner? Actually, I'm a little short on both lights. But 
but I am going to have to incorporate some kind of lighting into into here. Um, although I'm trying to remember if light goes through. I I know that I want to make western uh, some sort of uh, midwestern design, but. Uh, my, my color theory is very bare, at least in terms of the terms. Um, so, so pretend I'm dumb about colors. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to pretend. Uh, look, there, there's a reason why my entire wardrobe consists of blue jeans and black shirts. Oh, I mean, also because I work in a shop, it doesn't matter. I, I don't have to look good. So we're thinking ditch the ditch the light blue as being a little too purpley. Okay. And we'll ditch the light blue. Oh, never mind. I didn't have a spot for that. Alright. So we get down to the seven colors. <laughs> uh you know, that's not quite doesn't make for good streaming. Yeah, yeah, no, th this is, that is, that is what I want to do. I just, I, I, I don't know how to go from here are my colors and there is the design. Um, I know, I know enough to look at a Midwest design and go, yes, that is a Midwest design. Um, it's going from, I have a pile of blocks, to, et voila, a Midwest design. <laughs> that's, that's my struggle bus. That's my struggle. It is 10 blocks wide by 20 blocks long. So it's not like we have, we don't have a ton of space to work with. And these four blocks are the center. Uh, which last two? If you're talking about these two, these are the two lighting blocks I have available. And I need to light stuff up lest we have some uninvited guests. None of us wants uninvited guests. Although again, I do wonder if I put the lighting in the walls. Uh, let's... Here, let me, let me pick up the torches real quick and see if I can get some lights behind the trap doors. Alright, here's hoping nothing comes to eat my face while I'm working on this. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I struggle to remember the fact that thanks to the 1.18 update, uh, instead of mobs spawning in a light level of 7 or lower, they now only spawn in a light level of 0 or lower. Um, so, let's grab... Let's get the lighting block box out. Um, if... I put one of these guys... Oh! Oh, hi friend. See, this is what I was talking about. Those guys. I, I do not want the uninvited dinner guests. Okay, so light does go through... does go through the trap doors. 
So that does mean that I could do something like, uh, I could knock that down for a second and do that. And start doing that in a few different places. Although I'd really like to collect those, uh, <laughs> collect those blocks. Deep slate is not fun to come by. All right, let me uh, give give me a second. Let me let me see if uh, where, where was that other one? Okay, there it is. Let me see if I can get enough lighting behind the wainscoting to cover this. Because if I can, that that might solve the the problem of uh, what blocks are we putting in the floor. And then we might not have to worry about whether or not those fit. All right. Um, oh. Let me go save my... Uh, <laughs> tor tor torches are cheap. Shroom lights are hard to come by. So uh, if I can get away with just torches, I am... So put maybe one of those guys there. Uh, yep, yeah, that's as close as we're gonna get it. So uh, put that guy there instead of there. Move that one a little bit closer. Move that one a little closer. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Hi, friend. You, good sir, are an uninvited guest. I am hereby rescinding your invitation. All right, let's, uh, yeah. All right. So all these areas with a red zero, something something bad can come this way. All right. Uh, well, I mean, I could just start spamming more torches there. Like that cleared that one up. Um, let's get that guy going there. Alright, that helped. Let's, um... All those fails, just keep adding torches till it works, right? No. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's a little bit better. I still got this cluster of spots right here. I hear you, spider. We're about to have words in a minute. One of us ain't going to like them. All right, so I got this cluster of spots. Let's, um, well, let's tackle it from both sides. Let's get a torch right here. That's some of it. And... I'm going to be able to incorporate some... Because I still got to build the doorway between the kitchen and the dining room as well. All right. This is... Yeah, this is going to be the tough one. All right. Let's get... Let's get a torch there. Oh, so close. So close. Although it doesn't help that I have those two torches there, because they're they're not. That's going to be hidden in the door. So what if we just move those back, one right there, and one right there? Oh come on! 
got this one stupid block. Uh, all right. Just keep throwing torches at the problem, right? Just so that way that's not interfering with our calculations here. I mean, I guess if I'm going to put that one there, I don't necessarily need that one there. Oh, come on! I've got this one stupid spot. Although... That's also throwing off the calculations. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. That means we got two, three spots, because those two lights were kind of throwing things off. Although this one shouldn't be too hard to deal with. That that just means i got to throw maybe a couple more torches around. There. And there. Just got. I just got this one spot. Um, I've already got two torches over there too. Uh, what if? Hmm. I mean, do I put three torches? All right, cool. I mean, honestly, at this point, I may just go make a couple of stacks of torches and just replace every block on the other side of the wainscoting with uh, with torches. But this, in the meantime, uh, takes care of the minimum, and it'll actually be a little bit better than that because it'll be up by one. But yeah. That that might be that might be my next uh, my next actually do I do I have enough torches I might have enough torches in my other lighting box oh yeah oh yeah I got I got torches I don't know why I sounded like Kronk from uh, Damper's New Groove for a minute there but well, let's just you know what. No such thing as too many torches. Let's just light this up. You want light? We got light. We get around the outside too. <laughs> I mean, we're almost starting to get some lighting going over here too. Uh, I'll replace these guys with torches when I finish building. That's just light. Just gonna put all the light. Just crawl under here real quick, pick up all those uh, hard to get deep slate blocks. these I can get from the other side. I 
I mean, I want to be kind of mad that uh, we're not quite getting rid of the torch spam like I was promised, but on the other hand, the, this design wouldn't be possible in, in previous iterations. Because in previous versions, every one of these spots with seven or lower would still be spawnable, even with all the lighting that we're putting in right now. So, I mean, while it's not the best, it's still better than it used to be. All right. All the light. everything. That's everything there. And then I just got this wall here. At least out to there. Oh, sleepy time first. Come on. Sleepy time. I know, watching somebody light up the place is not the most exciting stream, but you can't really <laughs> I, I don't want I don't wanna get blown up by a creeper in the middle of in the middle of building, so uh <laughs> That would not be good for anybody. Reyast might be uh, a smidge mad about the missing deep slate if that were to happen. Alright, now we've actually got all this up to two or three in the middle, which is good. Uh we still got this spot over here. And then beyond this is not my room, I think. I'm not sure where the transition from here to the hall goes. So I left, uh, I left it where, like here. Yeah, all those numbers are, it, it's a help from the uh, mini HUD overlay. So that, that number tells you what the light level is on the block. So that three means that's a light level three. So you start from a torch, which is a light level of 15. That next one is 14, 13. Oh, but we're moving down a block, so it goes down one more. Um, and on. Anything below a 1, so a light level of 0, means that stuff like the skeleton and the creeper that we saw can spawn. That That's why I just went in and put all those torches, so that way there would be no red zeros around here. And that way we don't have to worry about uninvited dinner guests in the dining room. Uh, once we add the furniture and all that, I'll have to recheck the design. But once we get to the part where we're putting in tables and chairs and things, we can also put candle holders and yeah, lanterns and chandeliers and things like that that'll help light this up too. I, I just want to make sure that I know now if I need to incorporate light blocks into the terracotta or not. Um, so with all those being not zero, that means that I can safely just put down a terracotta design and, and it'll be okay. So now we can get back to the, or the original discussion, uh, of what blocks we were going to continue to keep and which ones we were not. I'll put the, actually... 
I'm probably going to need more white dye anyway, so let's uh, let's do that. There's my dye kit. There's my dye kit. Uh, oh, I uh, Reyes, are you available somewhere? I would like to know where to put the deep slate that I removed from the wall. I assume you've got a box somewhere around here for uh, deep slate bricks. Nope. Are you deep slate bricks? There we are. Kind of like that we got a castle big enough that I can just go ahead and fly <laughs> through it. <laughs> Okay. So now that we got the two the the two lighting blocks that didn't quite match, we we've got our palette of seven, and now it's a question of putting up a design and, and trying to figure figure something that will something that will fit. Um. I mean, I guess I could take some yellow and let's try, let's try this, uh, working off of the center thing again, uh, except instead of, we'll try for something a little more diamond shaped like that. Now, now we're back to that round sun-like shape. Oh, do, uh, so... The shroom lights or the glowstone? The glowstone's gonna be a little closer to the yellow. The shroom lights are gonna be a little closer to the orange. Okay, the glowstone. Yeah, the, it, it is a little dark working with that there too. I mean, it, it's technically not enough to, to worry about spawning, but that, that doesn't necessarily make it light enough to work with too. So that also gives us a little bit more light to work with. Uh. And I, I guess I guess my problem is it's kind of hard to do the diamond design when uh, or, or do we go with maybe like uh, some sort of offset like that? No, that that looks like a a sad pinwheel of some sort. But because it's an even number wide and even number long, either the diamond is not going to be centered, or it's not gonna it's not gonna come down to a one block point. Or. That still keeps it longer than it is wide. Ooh. And then what since uh, maybe do what the cyan or one of the grays around that? The first one, oh, where it's, uh, not that one. Oh, oh come on. And when I want one, I won't be able to get one of those guys. 
Wait. I don't think I got that quite right. Uh, although that makes it a little more squircular. Is that a word? I think we'll call it a word. Oh, doing it like that? Okay. So, okay. I feel a little bit better about that because that, that was the original that was the original centerpiece in the first place, just minus the glowstone. Uh so then what do I build around this? Do do I do I go for the Okay, so we're back to the the diamond adjacent. Okay. So do we take the the red next or do we go for one of the like the cyan or one of the two grays in the back? Okay. So I'm going to need when you say white stripe, are you talking about uh, just uh, encircling it in white like this? Uh, learning Seven Nation Army on the base. Um, oh, no, that would, would have been white stripes. Uh, plural. sleep before bad things appear. Alright. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So are we just going to keep putting rings around it, or are we going to start adding in some other shapes? Or do repeat this, what, down that way a little? Okay, I, I'm, I'm down with that. So, so what, do maybe one more, one more lap around with a color, and then figure out the mini patterns, and then figure out which color is going to be the, the background? where all my glowstone went now that I think about it. I, I could have sworn I had more than that. Uh, so what, maybe a, an orange ring around the red one and then we'll get to the mini patterns? Or do we save the orange for the mini patterns and maybe drop like a cyan or a light gray around the red? You, you you agree to a big center pattern and the mini patterns, or you agree to a cyan or light gray stripe around that? Uh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's grab the cyan. Ooh, I don't I don't think I made a whole lot of that. All right, let me uh, let me mix up a batch of cyan real quick. Uh, Since we agreed the purple is a no-go. I'll use up the purple for this. There we go. That gives us a, a fair bit of cyan. I'll have to top off my dyes in a little bit. Alright, so let's go. Oop. 
just wanted to get on. Th Ow! I don't have enough. Sp <laughs> Um, oh, do half of that stripe in cyan and half of that in, uh, in gray? Uh, maybe? I guess that would depend on how we did the other side, too. Like, maybe if we did that half of the outline in cyan with gray for the background and that half of the line gray with cyan background. And, the, and then start working on our mini designs. So the the light gray or the gray? It kind of feels like it should be the light gray just because they they seem about the same. Yeah, okay. That, that's I I don't have the words to explain why I think that. I just that that seems one of the that seems one of those things that seems about right. Uh, yeah, like gray terracotta. There we go. All right. And then what do... Light gray as the fill, and, you know, we'll fill in the mini design. And then I'll figure out how much of that fill I have to do. Uh, and then... Cyan for the fill. And then we'll figure out the mini design. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of ender pearls. Okay. So then what are we gonna do for the mini designs? Or are we gonna do something with the same colors as the center design, just in a different shape? Maybe throwing in a couple more patches of glowstone while we're at it. Ooh, that means I, I need more glowstone. Let me, uh, let, let me, let me, ah, deploy! <laughs> let, let, let me, uh, let me see if we got any glowstone over in, uh, um, the copper golem apparently came out here too. <laughs> oh, we we appear to be bereft of glowstone. Okay. Uh, wait. We we got some emeralds, right? Uh, <laughs> some. Okay. Let, let me let me go take a quick trip to the corner cleric and. Uh, oh, uh, I'll do some more trading with this guy for glowstone at some point uh, yeah. off stream. Four. I get four. Hi. <laughs> Hang on. I uh, I could have sworn I had more emeralds somewhere too, but then again, I could have sworn I had. Oh wait, no. I, I get a bunch of emeralds here in. Uh, In my wallet. How are you doing? Hey, buddy. All right, that's a little bit better. I'd like more than thirteen, but uh, How are you doing? I'll, I'll manage. Oh, oh, uh, oops, 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 oops. Not my intention. Uh. Or maybe less diamond and a little more star. All right, let's. Uh, so 
what do I, what do I need on my what do I what do I need on my on my uh, painter's palette here? I need glowstone, yellow, white, red, and then I'm gonna have to mix up some more of the light gray because I think I'm out of that, uh, and I'm definitely gonna have to put together some more cyan too. All right, so. Um, this is 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I, I had the proportions are right, but the numbers are wrong. It is 20 by 40, not 10 by 20. Uh, so... We'll say, like, maybe... do something like that. Although I think I got the, uh, I think I might, might have gotten the spacing wrong. Uh, I either guessed very well or, uh, or got very lucky. Or both. It could be both. Both is an option. <laughs> Although that's, that, that's a little bit of a, that's a little too squirrelier for a base. Wait, I just said square I blame Rast. Alright, let me... I need... Do I have more light gray in here? No. Alright, let me get another stack of purple. Let me get some light gray. Gives me more light gray. Nappity nap. All right, I like that idea, but the 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 base is wrong. everything over by one block, aren't I? is getting pulled up. Uh, 
that's going. One more. Uh, Ah, nothing to be sorry about. I'm the one who didn't measure. Uh, some, something, something about measure, measure, cut. Oh, wait, no, I think it was measure, measure, cut, swear. That, that's it. That's the way it goes. Measure, measure, cut, swear. the nice thing is that once I figured this out right uh, on one side it's easy enough to do the other one too uh, because so maybe mirror this on that side or mirror this diagonally or am I putting this in all four corners Diagonal, okay. So I am one, two blocks from the long wall. One, two, and then a red. So we're going one, two, and then a red. hate that I'm trying to build this. How many blocks long was that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm gonna need some more red while I'm at it too. Uh, I think I've already got another stack of red. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we're going to be diagonally up this way. And that should end up, yep, right in line with half of the top of that. Okay. Good. And then we got the white, right? Um, uh, it is, yeah. I need to make up some more white terracotta, or do I have more white terracotta? I do not have white terracotta. Alright, let me mix that up with the last batch of the purple. Oh, wait a second. Let me get rid of these blues that I know I definitely don't need. Uh, Alright, if I could hang on to one, I'll hang on to the light blue. Pretty sure I'm going to use a lot more of the white than I ever will the light blue, but you know, that's the way that goes sometimes. Alright, that was the white, and then the. Oh, oh my inventory. I need more yellow. I do not have more yellow. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take yeah, let's take the plain terracotta and mix up a batch of yellow. I guess I don't need the. Uh, sand and gravel for concrete either. Hmm. 
and then a little glowstone for light. <laughs> Wait a second. Why 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 am I doing this the hard way? I got the uh, I got the free cam. Oop. Oh, too far back. So maybe maybe what a a pyramid with a different set of colors facing into the other side or a different shape I still yeah no that that's about the right yeah that's about the same distance that that bit of terracotta there's what's throwing me off hmm Yeah, we can try a different shape. What, uh... But what, though? That is the question. And are we going to do the same colors? Although, I, I, I guess... Yeah, I guess, I guess we've used most of those anyway. Because we got the cyan and the light gray as background blocks. We got the white. Uh... Ooh. I don't know. How to, I don't know how we're gonna do a swirl. At least not with uh, not with blocks. One, two, three, four. Mm, one, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Hmm. but I know that ain't it. Try for a uh, a square. No, the square is not quite cutting it either. We got the idea that we want a different shape. We know we want to repeat it in the same general color palette. Um, okay, what if we go...
and do something like that. I don't know, that's got promise, especially once we fill in the rest of the background. Alright, let me repeat that on the other side and then and then we'll uh and then fill in the background and we'll see. Uh first I'm gonna have to pillage my last <laughs> my placeholder glowstone. Uh because I need five more. And then I'll get that box out of the way since I'm going to start filling in background. I'll get these guys out of the way. I notice we haven't used any of the orange yet either. Alright, so I'm going one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so we got the top. One, two, three, four, five. Glowstone. We got the top. One, two, three, four, five. Glowstone. And then we went yellow. And then the white. blocks in the right places. Alright, now I need... I'm gonna need a lot more than 31 cyan. Alright, let's start uh, filling this in. Let's see if we need more space or not. forward to uh, to make it more cyan dye that takes blue and green although I guess I, I was just bragging about having a bunch of extra a bunch of extra green and we got that that farm now that produces nothing but blue dye so there is that too Cyan. All right, let's uh, let's do up two more of the orange. day. I'll not do that. Although I take great comfort in seeing uh, the professional Minecrafters do the same thing as they're speeding through trying to build stuff. So, uh, you know, I mean, if even the pros do it, I, I shouldn't feel too bad. Doesn't stop me from feeling bad, but I shouldn't. trying to work on that on that whole thing where ju just because you feel it doesn't mean it's right. I 
Alright, and I'll hang on to that. I'm gonna need more late gray, but let me use up what I got. got to figure out the doorway going into there but I'll work with whoever's got that room I forget I forget what's over there and I forget who's got that room we, we've all been assigned different rooms yeah I, I'm thinking there is just a little too much little too much solid but uh let me finish filling in that first and then and then we'll go from there all right let me uh you know oh yeah there we go I'll uh Put the white and the red and the yellow away. And black and gray. And I just need to make more light gray. Yeah, that, that is a lot of expanse of nothing. And if I understand it right, there there's not that much uh, room to breathe in this kind of design. All right, let, let's uh, fill this in first. course we still haven't used any of the orange either and that was a part of our initial color palette so so do I throw like maybe some orange orange stars in there somewhere or uh oh 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 no now I'm now I'm going into the next room over That's what oh. I need a little more elevation to get the whole thing in one shot, but the the roof is kind of making that hard. So that's what we got so far. All right, let's. Um oh, it's nighttime. I should probably sleep. I say that often, <laughs> not just in the game either. <laughs> All right, let's put the light gray away. Let's put the terracotta away. Let's put the cyan away. Let's get our stack of orange and maybe do something like... So that's coming from the gap between them. Two blocks off the that.
Oh, the orange definitely definitely doesn't look right on the on the light gray. Um, let's try the brown on the gray. Oh, that's right. I used a bunch of the brown for uh, <laughs> for making the other stuff. All right, let's turn that into brown then. Uh, actually, I don't need a full stack. Let's just do half a stack. Um, Two, three, four. Okay, just double checking so I can make sure that I get it all symmetrical like. Yeah. Then do brown. Not sure that I like the brown, but I definitely like it better than the orange over there. That orange and cyan is killer though. I like that. Uh what else? What else? Um Because this and the diagonal is definitely begging for something to fill it. Um, what, like the brown or like the orange on the cyan? Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. We might just need to go black to get the, the darker contrast. No, it feels like it needs something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Uh, now, when you say purple, are you talking about actual purple or or the the light blue that has that purplish tint? Because I I really hate that. You know, you're saying that's light blue. Uh, oh no 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 that that's a definite nope. Um. Purple, purple. <laughs> uh, shoot. I need more purple dye. Um, all right. I don't know why I'm consulting the chart. I, I could also go, <laughs> go, how do you make purple? Which colors do you do? You <laughs> oh, who knew I'd need this much color theory to play Minecraft? <laughs> all right. That's all orange. Uh, what do I have? All right. Let's make a half stack out of the, out of the Tarek out of there. I don't know, this this light gray definitely seems to be a bit of a challenge to work with on this one. <laughs> the other purple purple? Uh because that's that that's purple terracotta. Uh or or is it the blue that that we might be looking for? There you go with this or Yeah, yeah, the blue the blue is definitely a little more purple than it is blue. Uh 
it, it is one of my one of my one of my complaints with uh, with the Minecraft coloring. Like, I mean, I get it. The terracotta is supposed to have kind of a, a dirty, dirty look to it. But um, yeah, let's leave that just in case. And let's use the blue <laughs> terracotta. <laughs> and next to the gray, it definitely makes that a lot more purple. <laughs> I mean, that's better. That That's getting us a little bit better contrast out of that. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's that's blue. <laughs> I know it looks pur purple beach duck. I know it looks purple. Uh, but you, you, you see that, right? Blue terracotta. <laughs> I think somebody at Mojang needs that, uh, that color, color blindness test or something. <laughs> Cause I mean, look, I, I know, I, I know I struggle to differentiate purples and blues, especially when, when they get in those shades that are like really close uh, but, but this, 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 e if even I can look at that and go, I don't know, that, that's a little purplish there. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so we still got some orange and it, it's, really does seem like this space and that space are begging to have something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray Est and I get into this all the time too, because she'll use the, the color that it looks like and uh, or, or stuff like that, and I keep going back to the technical, like, no, but the name of the thing is... And so, yeah. Uh, I feel feel like that's a, that's a, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. That's not five, that's six. I can't count. Um. Unless I bring it over here and do something here. That gives me three on that side. Three, no, oh, four. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a good center. Um, Just something simple like that. Alright, so that's from... Okay. Um, do the light gray so it's got the checkerish pattern like that. Or throw a little orange here and then from this white stripe we've got one two three right one two three wait that should put me one away from the wall okay So that's that, and we'll do that. Oh, oh wait a second. Uh, 
Because remember, glowstone is not the only light-emitting block that I have handy. We could also... Because the shroom lights are also uh, pretty orange-ish. And do like that. Although, that's not going to work on this side unless I also use the blue here. So it'll be the one place where we're breaking the color inversion. Uh, but that might not be a bad thing anyway. All right, I need a little more blue terracotta. No, uh, no, that's not. Mm -mm. We'll go that to being orange. Wait, no, I got that backwards. And do like that. That way we've still got our color inversion. That's not bad. That still gives a little bit more space between them. Do I need to put little blots of color here and there? I mean could start trying to fit something in there and in there but then it's going to start feeling well although i don't know isn't the 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 midwestern design we're going for going to be kind of kind of crowded anyway do a stripe in between in between the blue Oh, put a, a stripe there. So, uh, like what? Uh, since we're doing orange highlights, do an orange stripe. Um, Going one off of that. Um. I didn't know stripes were curved. I always thought of stripes was a straight line. Oh, <laughs> uh, or, well, I mean, if we're going to do that, then what about three, four? Oh, never mind. That's going to get too close to that. One more there, and 
one more there. Which would mean one more there. And one more there. I mean, we could do one more, but it feels like we might be getting a little bit too close to that guy right there. Where there might not be enough space to differentiate it. Terracotta. Yeah, well, well, that's what I—that's what I was wondering too. If, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Midwestern's supposed to be a cramp style anyway, so. And then I was thinking some sort of some sort of uh, bit here. Although maybe if I pull that back one more, um, put that back there, put that back there. Except that's not on the right diagonal for that. More blue. <laughs> Five, six. Wait. Uh, what, what, what do I have some of? The, oh, I don't need the black terracotta. Okay. We got the one blue in the corner. Two. Mixing too many colors for it to decide to... Alright, fine. Fine. I guess I don't need the placeholders as much at the moment. I think we're getting close to the finish line on this one. This is what I just need to do is start, just keep adding and adding and adding until it feels uh, per, uh, a little geometric and cramped and... Maybe throw... Uh... Another little random bracket there in the corner. No, that doesn't look right next to that, so maybe I ought to... Drop it back one? Just start adding more flourishes like that. What 
else can I uh what else can I cram in here? <laughs> Or do I go ahead and make this a little asymmetric in a sense? All right, that's getting there. Do 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 I keep adding stuff, or or do we call this good? I mean, I I kind of I kind of feel. I mean, I look at a rectangle with a circle in the middle, and I keep looking for a soccer ball, but, I, you know. <laughs> uh, a one-block border around the edge, skipping the places that I already have color, or, or cutting out, so, like, cutting out that orange and purple there, cutting out those two red squares there. Um, maybe bumping that L over one. And then the other question would be, what color? Uh, we still got some of the plain terracotta. We could do, we could do the gray. Okay, so definitely go move that up one there. So use the plain terracotta for a border all the way around and and what about like this guy here and this guy here? Go through it or skip over it? Yeah, same for the corner of our pyramid here. Alright, so skip it. Uh Alright, what color do I get rid of so I get enough, uh, so I get enough of a color to do it? <laughs> uh, alright. Let's use up a little bit of the cyan, so we'll, we'll still keep some cyan. Uh, 33 is probably not going to be enough. Uh, we're not using any of the gray, so let's go ahead and clean up a bunch of the gray that gives us a stack in a bit let's see how far that gets us and i can also use some of what i pick up because i'm not sure how much of that light gray i'm going to use anyway and I, oh and i still got to work on the doorway Although I kind of figured that would be the last thing. Because there's no point in working on a doorway if you can't, uh, if you don't have a floor, floor to tie into it. Still, the need to move that haste beacon over just a smidge. All right, so we're gonna go the regular terracotta. I mean, 
and I guess since I know that this is a 40 by 20 room, I could, you know, math it out and know that I need 120 blocks minus the uh, space. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that would require something about something, something planning before you, yeah. go clean a little bit more so let me go ahead and knock off uh, all right, since I'm not using all that light gray let me go ahead and pull half a stack of that that still leaves me plenty of light gray to work with I like the idea, but I'm not sure the plane was the way to go. Maybe this would have been a spot for the black. Although again, the black isn't exactly, you know, black. Um, oh, because that's a stack in a bit. Okay. Let's uh let, let me pick this up and paint it black. Of course, as I say that, I realize precious few people will actually uh, get the song stuck in their head, and that makes me sad. Oh, uh, Frog Leap Studios did an amazing metal cover of the Rolling Stones' "Paint It Black." Matter of fact, they've done a uh, <laughs> Leo, who who is the main the main guy behind Frog Leap Studios, has done hundreds of amazing metal covers. Some of them, some of them are a little, you know, not my kind of metal, um, but some of them are amazing. Uh, you know, the the song A B C D E F U that's been going around. He did a metal color cover of that. Uh, back when it, when it was the, the hot thing going around, he did a metal cover of, uh, all about that bass. <laughs> uh, he's done some really good ones. He, he took, uh, play that funky music and did an acoustic cover of that. Still keeps the same kind of feel and all that, but, uh, yeah. He also got his daughter to, to help him do a metal cover of You Are My Sunshine. How did I get the one random terracotta? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right. I didn't knock over the torch, did I? Okay. Black is definitely better. I was tempted to say just to get a more more color appropriate black to the black concrete, but I feel like the texture for the concrete is not going to mesh well with the texture for uh, terracotta. So not unless we had moved all the designs in, so there was a, a border. All right, that's with the quote-unquote black terracotta. Um, that's definitely... That's better than the plain terracotta?
Because at least it works well enough with the red, purple, and orange that it, uh, yeah. Or sorry, the red, blue, and orange. Blue. Feels a weird, little weird letting some of the designs uh, poke out of the out of the border like that, but I guess I guess that is a thing in this uh, design pattern, isn't it? Letting stuff kind of over on the borders a little bit. Although I almost wonder. I wonder if at least on these, if it wouldn't be better to do that. All right, that's definitely better. Or should I chop off the ends of the uh, design and just do a solid border? Because the design popping over the border, I don't know, it bothers me on a visceral level. But if my two my two uh, art majors over there uh, <laughs> tell me that that there's nothing wrong with that, I'll I'll trust your judgment. <laughs> it, it is definitely abstract, and and uh, I'm okay with that. I I do I feel a little more comfortable with that than I do. Um, realist or that kind of thing. Every time somebody does a modern style architecture build on Hermitcraft, it, it makes me twitch. I don't know why, but uh, the, the modern architecture style just doesn't, I don't know, not my thing. All right, I guess we'll leave it like this, and then uh, and then maybe maybe next week start working on the furniture. Uh, oh, and I still got to work on the on the windows and whatever's going on the outer edge here. Um, yeah. Same same sixteen colors can be applied to glass, and I wouldn't mind doing a stained glass window here, for sure. Here, maybe. Here, a more firm maybe, because um, the the intent is to possibly put a door in right here, so so that way you can watch the uh, skeleton farm working, a and derive enjoyment from that. <laughs> yeah, this might be a good place to this might be a good place to hold it before I, before I start overthinking it. Although again, I am definitely tempted to just knock off those corners uh, of the design and let it and let it be. Uh, how much more black do I have? Not much. Why you gotta laugh at me like that? <laughs> it, it just, I, I find it irksome. It irks me. I don't even know why.
I don't. I, I wish I knew why. It. it uh, I don't know. Maybe this is why I'm a programmer. <laughs> and, and, and not the artist. <laughs> Yeah, e even though that cuts off the pattern a little bit, I, I that that feels better. I might even take this and, and bring it forward a little bit so I can get the full four, the full four layers there. And maybe knock off that one little corner so that evens out. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll leave it like it's at. This is better. I like this. And we can always tweak it a little bit later. And of course, once we start putting furniture down, you might not even notice that anyway. Because remember, there, there's a big table going in over here. Um, I want to put a, I want to put a, I want to put a bar in a corner somewhere over here, like, like uh, because th this is supposed to be a, a giant dining room. So I want a giant dining room table with uh, grand chairs and, and you know, like a, a little stand-up bar in the corner. Uh, fill the whole thing, which... That's not going to be filled with water, but... Uh, oh, are you talking about the whole castle? Because the as far as the castle goes, we've uh, well. Again, are you talking about the castle? Or you, that goes back in a different box. That goes back in a different box. Let's get the terracotta out of my inventory for the moment. <laughs> I mean, sort of. There's a part of me that kind of wishes you could turn emeralds into green dye. That, that would be such a... <laughs> that would be horrible and wonderful. <laughs> I mean, you could turn lapis lazuli into blue dye, so why can't you crush uh, emeralds into green? Should I add that as a custom recipe? Uh, you haven't seen some of the furniture I've put together, too. Because not, not all Minecraft furniture is tiny. Like, uh, let's, uh, let's fly back to the cat. Oh, that's right, because you weren't on when I, when I showed that off Tuesday. Let, let me show you a little bit of the decoration I got going back at my mountain base. Burning through rockets. I, I, I still need to put something over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Beach Duck helped me work on the color palette for this. I got to cut down more crimson stems so I can get more stems and planks. Um, and I need more shroom lights for the floor. The, the one thing that's got me just a smidge irked is this wall is either two blocks too far out or two blocks too short. And I'm not sure if I want to push that out two more blocks or pull it in two more blocks. But either way, I don't want half a design pattern. <laughs> really? Because I was thinking about pushing it out two more. And then... Is that is that a sign from Minecraft? <laughs> Did you hear the thunder? Like, I want to push this out two more blocks. And the thunder crashed and said, No! Because <laughs> uh, I've definitely done a little bit more interior here since you were last there. I got a couple of balconies up there. Um, two derpy puppies for some paintings. I'm definitely going to... Well, I didn't mean to do it just yet. I'm definitely going to swap out the clay pot for something I got going up here. 
you know, I, I got a couple of bookshelves in here, some tables, you know, a, a potted plant, so to speak, some couches and statues. I, I've got my little, uh, my little study in here with a fully tricked out enchanter and bookshelves. A nice little chair. The way coffee's supposed to be crafted. A very special puppy. I need a better canopy for the bed though. I do not like that. Nice little grandfather clock. Storage. I, I kind of like the statuary there too. A very special puppy. Alright. Um. Oh, 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 that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Mistakes were made. Uh, storage is one of the things that I'm going to work on. I do not, I do not like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, unless you're talking about the uh, the the little uh, cabinet thingamajig. There's a name I'm looking for. I can't remember what it's called. But the the stack of chests on the ground floor is not. That's not going to be worth. Oh yeah, the closet. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Arcadius has been working on the kitchen, so so we got we got some boxes and shelves, uh, some work tables, the kitchen drain with some gunk in the bottom. Somebody staring at the food being prepared, licking his chops. Not, not that that ever happened. Nope, not even a little bit. <laughs> I, I kind of like the armor stand pig here. <laughs> With the apple in its mouth. That, that, that we, we've got uh, a data pack that lets you um, manipulate armor stands with commands so you can move, so you can move stuff around and get some rather interesting setups. And, uh, Arcadius also put together the freezer here. So we got that one box of frozen vegetables that's always tucked in the corner. Uh, you know, frostbitten and all that. Uh, you know, some spots for, spots for space. I almost want some uh, icicles now that we got tripstone. Sure, I, I, I mean I'm sure it'll arrive before our concrete slabs and stairs, but you know, <clears throat> I'm not salty about that. I might have to borrow some of that cake too. If I just come in here every now and again and eat a slice of cake, some uh, meats hanging out in the freezer, some ice in the corner. I'm also going to have to start renaming some of these barrels and not tell anybody. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely I definitely got to think of some goofy names and, and some random things stuck in the uh to stick in them that okay, yeah. I mean, I would never do that. And I really like the industrial lighting feel that these have. I almost wonder if some carpet to get the, the lighting hood might not be a bad idea. Um, either carpet or or the uh, iron trap doors. Maybe. I'm definitely going to have to work, uh, actually, let me go grab two more, two more of the black terracotta. Well, 
Let me grab four more of the black terracotta. <laughs> I I don't know I don't know why I saw that and thought too. Although I mean I guess technically this might end up being something else anyway. Um so uh I gotta build the door that transitions between the two. And I guess that means that that'll go there for that. And I need some more black terracotta. Because of course I do. What do I have too much of? That's the plain terracotta. Let's... Uh All right, I guess it's orange. Ah, okay. Well, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. to figure out what to do for the doorway here. So whatever the design is, that, that might end up being the same either way. And I guess a lot of it's going to depend on what I do for the wall too, because I don't want to do just planks. Um, I like the trap door for the wainscoting. I like the planks above that, and then maybe something different up above it. Um... I don't want to do quartz, but I might do quartz. Save me from doing quartz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, I could do like I did in the bedroom with the uh, sandstone, birch, and that kind of deal just to give it a, a lighter color wall. So you got the rich, dark wainscoting, two blocks high, and then and then uh, birch planks, stripped logs, and uh, and uh, smooth sandstone. Or do I just do it all in varieties of sandstone? All right, that might have to be for another stream. Still, that, that's a that's a fair accomplishment there. I like that. I'll have to get some more torches to put in there later. All right, there's my die kit, my ice box. Uh, I even have a brown bag lunch in my brown shulker box. <laughs> uh, uh, enough cooked pork chop to last me a little while, and some cookies. Gotta have some cookies. Also, for whenever Rhea says, I deserve a cookie, I can give her a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's still a lot of progress. Yeah, I, I got to figure out the walls next. And if I want, what, what kind of, if I want to do a, like a stained glass effect with maybe some sort of design in similar color palette or just do a clear a solid window um, I'm leaning more towards the design though because it, it, it feels like this deserves a design and I don't want to continue the terracotta design on the wall hmm Do I have smooth sandstone somewhere? No, I don't. Although the cut might work just as well. You know, start doing start doing similar to what I've been doing the other walls, like with a couple of random sandstone, some uh, random strips uh, of 
log like that. Except get them facing all the right way. Or is that going to be too bright? I mean, obviously I'm going to mix up the, the design a little bit better than that. Um, and I can get some smooth sandstone that doesn't have that line there. I mean, I could always, I could also do the same basic idea, but use the dark oak, the strip dark oak, and find some other block for that that third, um, the third way of breaking up the sameness. I'm sure there's an artistic term that I that I am unaware of that would help explain what I'm trying to go for. I think we lost Beach Duck. Now, if I do that, I'm going to have to do the brick and all the different variants like I did on the, uh, on the underwater temple. Alright, alright, alright. I, I, I think I've hit, uh, I think I have hit the wall. And not even as in another brick in, um, I probably ought to just get a bed to leave out here. Um, oh. And that reminds me, on top of that, we've each got a... Ow! A, uh... Oh, oh, come on, make it over the wall. There we go. There we go. We've each got... Oh, wow, somebody's... Ar Arcadius is already working on his. Uh... <laughs> we, we've each got a... a bedroom to to work on in the castle too so we i got this big main space here uh some room for a closet and another closet so i'll have to figure out what i want to do in that too is there katie's the yep Ow. I also got to be careful I don't fly past that dirt wall. Uh, no advanced previews on that one. Um, I also might put a fog effect under that water. The, that's the chunk where our slime farm is. And we... Oh, oh that's right. I got my Frostwalker boots on. And so we got the slime farm under there. And... Um, Clearing, clearing out all this space definitely made it a lot easier to uh, 
a lot easier to uh, to a lot more slimes will spawn. All right, let me go find a place to to park myself so that way I am safely AFK, and I'll do the outro and we'll see who's available for a raid. If there's anybody left <laughs> to do a raid. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Yeah, because this definitely ran a little bit longer than I intended to. Uh... And remind me again later, Pinky, to show you some of the some of the contraptions I've got down here, including this wonderful sweetberry farm run by these two foxes. They 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 farm it up for me, and they they get their cut too. All the overflow goes into the composter to become bone meal. It's a fun little setup. I got a couple of a couple of bee farms over here. We've got a custom texture for our bees, so they got the coralis eyes on them. <laughs> They're great. They're so derpy. Okay. If you if you're still around, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun Tuesdays at 6:30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. It is always Coffee Craft, and Fridays at 6:30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. It is up for grabs. For a long while, it was games revisited. I kind of fell out of practice of that, and I need to get back into that. So uh, that will return at some juncture. I just I, I don't have a I don't have a firm date to give you yet on that. So let's go raid Beast Lord J, and I will see you next time. Stick around for the raid. <laughs>